Every time I close my eyes, I see a pattern. Even if it's for a millisecond and I blink, or if I'm closing my eyes to go to sleep at night, I see a vibrant picture and it's always in repeat and I've always had it as long as I can remember. My name is Katie Deedy, and I run a wallpaper company out of Brooklyn, New York. We specialize in narrative-inspired pattern work. I have no idea what's going to be waiting in Seattle. I have no clue what the thread's going to be that's going to pull me in and inspire a pattern. It's going to be really, really hard to fit all of this into one visual, but I'm excited to give it a try. The shop was founded in 1899. It's one of the oldest businesses in Seattle. There we go. Ah. And I found an entire five gallon bucket full of whale nice. eardrums, because you know, that's what you do. Wow. When we spend so much time on our computers and our smartphones, disconnected from the things that are physically around us, museums provide a haven where you're physically interacting with these objects and stories that otherwise you wouldn't have a chance to have any kind of tactile time with. I have to say the elevators were my absolute favorite thing about Smith Tower. The perfect example of something that was made perfectly beautiful once, it was taken care of, and it's lasting today. I felt like I was in Willy Wonka for a minute. One of the beautiful things about Seattle that I've seen is how seamlessly the city has worked to incorporate its natural surroundings into its everyday infrastructure. And I found this especially to be true at the locks. Salmon are pretty iconic to the city of Seattle. Mm -hmm. The tribes around here lived off of salmon. It's really just ingrained in, in who we are as Seattleites. With the water and the air and just the feel of walking around, nature has the upper hand here. There's a real pride in where the city's from, culturally, historically, it doesn't seem to me to be a place that quickly concretes over stuff. We are at the Wing Luke Museum of the Asian Pacific American Experience. We are named after Wing Luke. He was the first Asian city council member in the whole nation. So much of Seattle and the food and the traditions here are influenced by the Asian community. All of the things here are left from the inventory of the store. That's and fantastic. it smells exactly how it, how it did. did. I was taking in so many of these wonderful histories and stories, and it was a lot to work through. There was an energy there that spoke to me more than anywhere else. It was unbelievably authentic. I felt transported. Traveling shapes our view of the world in ways that I think are unexpected. This is one of the few places I can think of in Seattle that used to be a mortuary, and now you can drink in. The first purposely built funeral parlor in 1923. We took over sometime in 2012. I love the way the city is set up. A lot of the older buildings are still around. You can tell people have taken care to try and keep what's great and not just yeah. tear down and rebuild. Like this building is still standing. Cool note, in 1973, Bruce Lee had his funeral in this room. No way. Having sensory overload was actually a super positive thing because I was getting beautiful colors, beautiful flavors, histories, and stories. And it was a testament to how rich the city is and how much it has to offer. My trip to Seattle has inspired me to seek a better balance in my life here in Brooklyn, trying to keep the creativity and the drive that I saw there with the calming nature and the relaxing pace of life. Soaking in the vibe of the city ended up impacting the final pattern more than I thought it would. I probably have 50 or 60 different versions of different patterns just from this trip because I had so many ideas and then each idea I would have 20 different like little nuanced changes for each step. Because I was really affected by the indigenous art I saw throughout the city, I wanted to incorporate it in a way that wasn't directly using it. I meant to reflect the duality that I saw in Seattle of this lush, beautiful nature and this wonderful city together. I want it to be something that sparks uh, memories in other people, gets them excited to visit Seattle. I hope that people that see it will get the essence of my time spent here and the things that I found personally compelling and beautiful about the city.